Hey, what is up team? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. It is day 28 of 30 days of quitting drinking. Day 28. We are 14 fifteenths of the way through. And that's a real achievement. Uh, I'm just checking in today. It is 6.15. I've just gone to the supermarket, got some food. Uh, we're going to make pizzas, homemade pizzas tonight. So I'm looking forward to that. Two days to go. Today's Friday, Saturday, Sunday is day 30, and I'll crack into the new week, the new week of work, on Monday, um, having completed this video series. Now, these videos have become tedious at times, but you know, I'd also be lying if I said they haven't helped, because they certainly have. Having these videos to bounce off, um, having this platform called YouTube, to uh to vent to talk to work my way through things has been incredibly helpful especially in those first few days especially in those first few days yes coming to the end of it it has got a little bit tedious but look if i had to think back it's it's sometimes it's hard you do forget you do forget it doesn't take long to forget you know, the way, well, it hasn't taken, it didn't take long for me to forget the way that I f was feeling during those first few days. And I haven't watched any of these videos back. I make the video, I go up to my computer. We have a visitor. Would you look at that? Hello. Mm. See, she's becoming... She's, she's enjoying the scratches more and more. You see, during the first like two or three weeks, every single time we went to scratch her, pretty sure it's because she was young, um, she would scratch back. But now she's slowly but surely realizing, oh yeah, that actually feels good. Either way, like I was saying, I make the video, just like I'm doing now, go upstairs, edit it, which gives me an opportunity to, to watch it back, most likely on the same day. Although recently I've been editing probably every three or four days. But regardless, I make the video, I watch it back once, and I publish it, and that's it. I haven't watched any of the videos back, and I don't plan on it, because I've done what I needed to. I've shared my message, I've shared my thoughts, I've worked through whatever feelings, whatever emotions um, I'm feeling at the time. Uh, it's been effective in doing that, and I can shut off the camera feeling accomplished, and move on with my day, move on with my life. That, that's been the way that I've done this. That's been the way that I've worked through this 30 day challenge. And it has been challenging at times, but hey, at the end of the day, it has gotten a whole lot easier. I'm thinking about alcohol a whole lot less. And the only sort of thought or worry around bringing alcohol back in is is when when will i do it how will i do it and will i be able to keep it to the one occasion and not wake up the next day craving it because you know i've mentioned before i know how easy i could get back into these old destructive alcoholic like habits although what I have on my side to help me now is a job. Um, I've got 30 days, almost, of sobriety under my belt. So that, not only is that just amazing in itself, but it also, but it also tells me that I am in, in control somewhat, which, you know, I, I, I felt like I'd lost all of that. I felt like I was completely out of control. Um, and whatever I did, whatever I tried, I'd still end up at that fucking bottle store each and every night. And I'd wake up the next morning not even wanting to open my eyes. Seriously, that is the state that I was in when I began this. I, I woke, I've woken up every single morning and I, I don't want to open my eyes because I don't want to face the day. I don't want to wake, I don't want to, I don't want to get out of bed. I don't want to actually get on my feet because I don't know how much of a hangover I'm going to have. I, it's unpredictable. Life was completely and utterly out of control and unpredictable. 
my my physical health the way that i felt each and every morning was unpredictable and that was such a shit way to be living such a shit way to be living and you know if i woke up and i i got up and i actually felt okay for once i'd say well how shit this is amazing how how did this happen you know i've drunk copious amounts of alcohol the night before and and lo and behold i've actually woken up feeling okay and the only way that would happen is if I got like 10 or 12 hours of rest or sleep. You know, the first eight hours I'd be detoxing throughout my sleep and then the next four would be just lounging around not wanting to get up, like I said, and only getting up finally uh, when I can you know, sort of drag myself out of bed. It's just like, what a fucking existence. What an existence. It is no existence. It's no life. And I was just absolutely fed up of feeling sick and tired. I was sick and tired, as they say, of feeling sick and tired. And as I sit here before you, 28 days through a 30 day challenge, and I can't complain. You know, I don't really know specifically yet what has changed, how it's changed, how I've changed, how I feel, but the one thought that does run through my mind at the moment is, like I said, how and when and if I bring alcohol back in. No, I, I shouldn't say if, because I will. I will bring alcohol back in, but I re simply refuse to drink alone. I refuse to drink um, just for the sake of it. I refuse to drink on a work night, and I refuse to drink and sacrifice my energy selfishly when I should be giving that energy to my kids that was another huge reason I remember my dad telling me a funny story an interesting story my dad loves to drink but between the age of 35 and 45 he quit and I you know looking back I couldn't imagine that I could not imagine that I said bullshit you did but he said you know what I did because I had to because one morning I woke up and all of a sudden I had two little kids bouncing on me I was five my sister was like one and you know as we grew up I was six she was two I was seven she was three and as you can most probably imagine uh waking up with a fucking roaring hangover having two little kids running around which is the which is the exact same situation I found myself in and and I have found myself in although I just pushed through I pushed through and I pushed through and I pushed through and I pushed through because I couldn't give it up but my dad um, could give it up a lot earlier than I did so he did and uh, you know he, he worked really really hard to give myself and my sister uh, a, a good life a good childhood and credit to him for doing that and you know, if he was if he was drinking, if he was drinking a lot and, and heavily, uh, yeah, he may have still provided um, a nice home and and everything we we needed for. But he wouldn't have felt as good doing it. He would have felt like he was just scraping the barrel, you know, surviving, running on fumes, and that is that is simply no way to live. And look, guys, I've probably been here for far too long. I've probably chatted your ear off, but look, we are coming to the end of this. We are only two days away. And so whatever comes to mind, I'll let you guys know. But for now, that's enough from me. I will see you tomorrow for day 29. It's a Saturday. It's a day off work. It's a day of leisure. Although I'm planning on beginning the day with a five kilometer fun run that's being held here by the local Alice Springs Runners and Walkers Club. So I'm looking forward to that. Last week, I had big plans of doing it. I didn't get up in time, but I am gonna, I'm gonna set my fucking alarm and I'm gonna do it. Because I know that yes, I might be tired when I wake up. See, that's the thing, I, I actually get confused. Like when I wake up now and I, you know, I, I, I feel groggy and I feel tired and shit. What I'm expecting is that feeling to continue because I'm so used to waking up hung over and what i'm having to realize what i'm having to um, get used to is the fact that yes you may feel tired for the first few minutes but get up and and get going and and that fades and you're into the day but i'm i'm not quite there yet i'm not i can't separate waking up feeling just tired from waking up feeling um from waking up with a hangover i can't quite separate those two yet 
but with more consistency, with uh, with repetition, with more time under my belt, um, not being a fucking alcoholic, I think getting up in the morning, I think mornings will become my sacred time. And I feel like, you know, getting up at something like eight or nine in the morning is just going to be ridiculous eventually. That's what I hope. That is what I hope. I, I, I want to... I want to thrive. I want to bounce out of bed, even though I know that's unrealistic, but I want to get out of bed at, you know, 5, 5.30, 6 o'clock at the latest. That is where I want to be. And for me to do that, I needed to take out alcohol. <coughs> Excuse me. So anyway, that's enough from me and I'll see you tomorrow.